Welcome, welcome to the Crafty Crochet Review Show. Today we're going to talk about these goody goodies, which are Tunisian crochet hooks, interchangeable Tunisian crochet hooks from We Crochet. I'm going to test them out with you the very first time. I have never used them before, literally, never put them together. They're literally still in the package. So we're gonna check them out together and I'm gonna use some of the yarn. I have here some Brava yarn that we're going to use in order to uh, work it up a little bit and see uh, how it feels and what you can do with them. So are you ready? <laughs> Hi, my name is Nikki and I'm the creator of Nikki's Homemade Crafts. So first I'm going to show you some of the details that I see and then I'm going to show you how much they are and all those things right uh, before um, after I showed you also how to work them up. So let's take a look a little bit closer. I have here my camera so I can show you what I see and you see exactly the same thing as I see. So here we go. We are getting in this crochet set. So this is radiant wood interchangeable, interchangeable crochet hook set from Knitpick slash We Crochet. So uh, Knitpick's you know is a really big uh, brand we all know him, uh, know the company they just started a new company called We Crochet so Knit Picks is all for knitters We Crochet is for crocheters so there you go so even though you only you see Knit Picks on here it is coming from We Crochet I got it from We Crochet there's a link down below in the description if you want to get it yourself or want to check it out uh, listen to me first so uh, you don't miss anything okay so we have all these different hooks I have worked with Tunisian interchangeable hooks before they were bamboo so these are wood as it says. So we're going to take a look and see how they are. So you have two sides to the package. You have here two pockets right here where you have uh, the cords in there and uh, the stoppers and the key, the cable key. And I'll show you in a second why you need that and what it's for. And then in the front, you have one big pocket uh, where all the hooks are in, uh, and they are beautiful radiant colors and definitely wood. Uh, I'm gonna just pull this one out here uh, just because it stares at me. So here we go. Um, it is a beautiful, I mean, look at these, this wood. It's absolutely gorgeous how they put it together. Uh, you can see how the hook is made. There we go. Um, I always mix them up. This is, I think, is it inline? I think it's an inline. I forgot what it is all called, but let me see if there, you can see it better with that. What I love about these is, um, I don't know if you can actually see it. I have to come a little closer, but it actually is marked um, very lightly right here what uh, size this is. So that way you always can figure it out and it's not over here where usually you're crocheting. Uh, so you don't have to worry too much. I do see a difference with what I've seen before. Um, you know, I've worked with the bamboo before, but I don't know if you can actually see, let me see how I'm going to hold this. Uh, so you, uh, you can see it slightly. There is a little bit of an indent right here where you can put your finger. Let me see if I can get a little closer. So yeah, you can see slightly. Do you see that little indent? It's going right down here and it's going to come back up right here. So there's a little bit of an indent that allows me to put my finger there when I crochet. Um, I don't have that with a bamboo one, which is pretty nice, even though it's very straight, which what what you want for Tunisian crochet, you want it very straight. Um, and of course, you can add your stopper, um, uh, you can add your cord over here. And let me show you how this is going to work, right? So um, very important is, oh, the other side. So first of all, it, ha it comes from 3.5 all the way to 6.5. So that's a nice variety. I wish it would go a little bit higher. Uh, the uh, bamboo ones um, that I've used before go all the way to eight, but I don't know if they start at three. I think they started four. So maybe there might be a shift or something. So let's take a look. I'm just gonna pull out over here one of these cords. Am I pulling the small or I'm gonna pull the smaller one right here so it doesn't tangle around. And then I'm gonna grab one of these packages right here. So let's uh, take a look over here. I'm going to just simply, um, actually, I'm going to use the bigger one because I have thicker yarn. So that way I can use the hook right away. I'm just seeing, actually, it has another pocket, you guys. I just see that over here. So it has two pockets in the front, and I only told you there's one. It's actually two. You know, you can see I haven't used this yet. So <laughs> figuring this out with you together. I'm going to use the big one because I have here some uh, bulky yarn. So that way I can actually use the hook immediately. This one is a 6.5. And all you're doing is you simply screw this in right here. And yes, it's going to bang on my on my table. I apologize. That's kind of how it works when you screw this in. And um, then you have here the stopper. So 
So let me show you. I'm going to pull one of these stoppers out and then the key. And I'll show you what the key is for. So you put the the uh, stopper here in the back. I should move this so you can see what I'm doing. There we go. And you can simply screw this in right there. It has like a little bit of a dent here. I'm not quite sure what it's for, but it's kind of nice. It looks beautiful. And then you use here this key to tighten things up a little bit more because this can be slippery. So you want to put this over here and then you can hold it and then you can screw this in tighter, right? Does that make sense? So that is what the key is for. And the same is true here on the other side. You can put it in like this and then you can hold it because this can slip in your hands, right? So you put the key in and then you can tighten it a little bit more. So that way you're not losing your hook. So I'm already seeing one thing that I'm not sure if I'm liking it, but I have to try it out. So the bamboo ones that I've tried before allow me to twist this cord in itself. So it's twisting in itself. So it never bangs anywhere and it's always the direction I want it to be. This one is tight. So this is literally, I don't know, glued or whatever on. So the cord itself doesn't twist. Does that make sense? You know, it's not loose, so it doesn't twist on its own. Um, but I do like that it has this key. I just hope I don't lose it um, so that I can tighten my hook onto it. I don't have that with the other one, uh, with the bamboo one. I don't have that, which is uh, quite nice to have this key over here. So um, let's try it out, right? So I have here my yarn. As I said, I've never tried these before. So this is my first time using them. So I'm going to do um, just a simple couple of few chains here, you know, Tunisian, of course. I'm going to leave this on even though it's probably going to bother me. Oh yeah, it's going to bother me because it's going to roll on my on my table here. So if you hear something, it's because it's on my table. So I'm just going to make here, what, I, what did I do? One, two, three, four, five uh, so chains here. And let's do it, uh, some simple stitches, Tunisian simple stitches. It's pulling up nicely. It's holding them nicely. I do have to say, I'm going to unscrew this. You definitely need the key if you screwed it tight. <laughs> there we go. Because otherwise it's going to bang on the floor or the table. And that's going to bother you all, just like me. Ah, oh, come off. Well, it stays on tight, so that's that's a good thing. There we go. Okay, now I can use it without it banging on a table. All right, so it's pulling up nicely. It's not splitting the yarn very much, which is really nice. So I'm just going to go back here. So go through one and then go through two. I do like that the head over here is a little bit longer because when you want Tunisian, um, you want to make sure you, oh, if you crochet Tunisian, you want to make sure your um, yarn is staying in here and doesn't slip off. For Tunisian, that's quite important. So this is actually quite nice that the head is a little bit longer. I don't know if you can see that, how long it is. Like this mouth is very long, uh, much longer than normal. So that's actually fairly nice. I have to say that. So let's do um, a few more. I'm actually, I said I'm going to do simple. So it's going to do some simple stitches. Yeah, it definitely is nice how it's holding. Do you see how it's holding the yarn nicely in place? I uh, really like that actually. So it's going to go through really nice and it's not uh, losing my hooks and uh, my, my yarn in my hook. So this is really nice to work with. It can split the yarn if you have um, very, um, if you have yarn that's prone, prone to split. Am I saying this right? If it's more, more towards splitting, right, uh, then it's going to split it with this hook. But it's very nice. Um, it works up nicely. I have no problem with it. And what I like most is I, what I just said. You see how the yarn stays nicely on this head. I need to zoom in more so you guys can see what I see. Let's do this. How about that? Do you see that? It stays in nicely in that hook and it doesn't go anywhere. Absolutely love that. Most hooks don't have it that long. And for Tunisian, that's actually quite important. Guys, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I will go through them in a second because currently I'm looking at my project and I can't see your questions, but I'm happy to answer any of your questions. Yeah, it works up fairly nice. Really, really beautiful. And let me show you one more time how big this head is. Can you see that? Oh, this is better if I hold it like this. So yeah, it's very nice. It's very long. If I have another hook here, I can show you how it's normally. Ooh, it rolled away. Hang on. There we go. I'm going to show you um, one of the wooden, wooden ones. Like we're going to grab it real quick so you can see the difference. 
All right, so here's one of the wooden ones I was talking about. And as I mentioned before, this cord right here, this is a wooden one, right? This twists in itself and doesn't loosen this up. Can you see that? I'm holding this cord and I'm twisting this. So this is what I said about the this cord right here. It's glued on and it doesn't let me twist it. So I'm not sure I'm liking this yet, um, that it doesn't twist. Uh, I like this on here. However, can you see how tiny this head is in versus this? You can see a big, big difference. I like this head to be longer for Tunisian, for Tunisian only. I like this head for non-Tunisian. I'm okay with that because, you know, when you crochet fast, you don't want to get your yarn stuck, right? But actually for Tunisian, you want a little bit of a... Uh, tension there so this is actually much better for tunisian versus this so it has its pros and cons so this is definitely a better hook for tunisian i can tell you that um when it comes to the cord i think i prefer this one over this one you know what i need to try out i don't know if you can put this one on here oh do you guys see the difference you can't dear <laughs> the exact opposite. Do you guys see that? How the screws is? So um, the other thing that I have to say about this one, the uh, non we crochet one, is it allows me to add a stopper right here, which it doesn't do that for here. However, there is a pro to, the, a pro to this, uh, why I think that's actually not a bad idea. So let me s show you why I actually kind of like that the screws on the opposite side and you don't need to put a stopper right here and i'll show you exactly why and i think that is why i believe this is going to be better hang on i have to unscrew this so if you've ever tried tunisian crochet in rounds which is by the way a very tricky thing uh you're gonna want a tunisian hook on both sides so in order to have that this is actually a phenomenal. The other, the wooden, the bamboo ones don't allow me to add two crochet hooks on one cord. Look at that. Can you guys see that? Two of them all attached. Yay. This is awesome. So now that is, can be very good when you have, um, when you want to crochet in rounds with Tunisian. So let me zoom out a little bit more so you can see it all the way. There we go. So this is not possible with the bamboo one. This is only possible with the wee crochet ones, which is fairly cool. So it's almost like you are crocheting, you're knitting, right? But when you go in rounds for Tunisian crochet, you need to work it up in the back um, at the same time. So this can be very good if you make something really, really big in a round. So let's say um, a big basket or something like that. This can be very beneficial to have this uh, on both sides. This is again, not possible with the bamboo one. So now let me show you guys, you guys have any questions? I see some questions. Uh, have you tried working with the weak crochet ergonomic crochet hooks? Yes, I have and they're great. Um, I am a clover and uh, I'm a furls crochet hook lover. So um, I'm a little bit biased on that. <laughs> I just love my Odyssey hooks. So I love the ergonomic hooks from Wee Crochet, but I just love furls more. So I'll be honest with you. So that's what it is. If so, how do they compare to Clover? Um, they are pretty much the same. Personally, they are pretty much the same in my opinion. Um, I think I have them both here. Um, I'll show you in a second. Let's see. Uh, did I miss any other questions? You guys have some uh, problems with your wrists. Make sure you guys ice it. Talk to your doctor, of course. Um, all right. So let me show you really quickly um, if I find them very fast. I don't know if I can. Let's see where they are. If I don't find them really quickly, the ergonomic ones, I'll probably not be able to show you. I don't know where I put them. So, oh, I have them right here. So these are the Wee Crochet ergonomic ones. And they have a nice handle right here, so which uh, the clover doesn't have. So they are pretty much the same size. They have the same head. So if you want to save some money, go get the Wee Crochet um, ergonomic hooks. They're fantastic. I just don't like that they're so short. Clover is exactly the same way. They're both short. Don't like that at all. I am a, um, a Odyssey hook lover, and I'll show you why. So here's uh, an Odyssey hook. And you see how much longer they are? 
They're so much longer than the ergonomic ones or the clover ones, either way. They're much longer, which means that I don't have them poking into my hand and which I don't like, right? So otherwise these are fantastic. They're much lighter, so they're great. So if you wanna check those out, that's totally fine. And the weak crochet ones are much cheaper than the clover ones and they're pretty much the same thing. So you have to decide on your own. Um, okay, coming back to the Tunisian ones, which I absolutely love. I love the colors. I absolutely love the colors. And yes, they're wood, but they're very smooth. Very smooth wood. They pretty much feel like um, a, um, odd, a a bamboo one that is kind of like, it has a shine to it. That's how they feel like. So let me show you now how much they are. Here we go. So this is uh, We Crochet's website. If you are brand new and never purchased anything before, you can sign up for their emails and you get 15% off. Heads up on that. I would highly recommend you do that because this one you can get even cheaper than you, what you see right there, right? So it comes with all this. As you can see, I just showed you the package of them and I absolutely love their um, head. You can see right here that the head is much, much longer. I absolutely love that for Tunisian, really will help. It shows you what's in it and here's the price. It is much cheaper than the bamboo ones. So if you are thinking about using Tunisian crochet in rounds, I would highly recommend getting these ones because they allow you to go in rounds with the cord attached. There's different sizes of the cord. Let's see, uh, black cables, a total of four. There's two 24 inch um, ones and two 32 inch ones. It has all these um, stoppers to them and it has, I think two, let me double check. Yes, two cable keys. So this is really, really great um, to have two of them. In case you lose one, you still have another one. <laughs> so don't lose your cable keys. They are really just there to tighten it up. So if you were worried about losing your hooks, you know, they untwist or something, that's what they're for, just to tighten it up a little bit. Otherwise, you don't really need them, right? But it has everything listed here that you want to need to know about. Um, so you can make these longer, you know, by using another crochet hook on the other side, which is really cool. As I said, I can't do that with the bamboo, but you can do that with these ones. And that's a phenomenal uh, feature that they have. So there's two amazing features on them besides that they're beautiful, right? It allows you, it has a bigger um, head and it allows you to do rounds with the cables, which again, the other one doesn't. So in my opinion, that is a, that's two very, very important features for Tunisian crochet. So I, if I had to pick, I would go with the weak crochet ones over their bamboo because it gives me more variety and it makes sure that I don't lose my yarn while I'm crocheting. And that's quite important when you crochet, right? So I actually like that uh, more. And for Tunisian crochet, that's actually fairly important. So do you guys have any questions for me? I need to make sure that I'm seeing all your questions where I can get these hooks. Linda, there's a link down below in the description right there, literally the first link in the description. Go down here, right here. There's a drop down, or you should be able to see the blue link. There's a blue link it says get them here uh, and you can get them yourself. As I said, if the if you're the very first time signing up for Week Crochet for their newsletter, you get a 15% um, off coupon code from them. All you have to do is sign up for their newsletter and you get it. And then you can apply it to this order. And if you are in the US, anything above 35 is free shipping. And I think it applies to uh, three other countries as well. I don't know what the price limit is like how much you have to add to the cart I don't know but I know it works also for Canada UK and Australia uh, those uh, four countries that means US UK Canada and Australia all you have to do is add a certain amount to your cart and you get free shipping the rest of the world doesn't have that but I believe you can still order so really cool um do you guys have any more questions do you sell the hooks I don't sell the hooks <laughs> No, I don't, but we crochet does. <laughs> um, let's see. Do you guys have any more questions? I see Glenda loves the hooks. They're beautiful. They sure are beautiful. If you guys have any more questions, you can leave them down below. I'm happy to answer any of them, even if it's after this video is over. I'm here for you. By the way, don't forget to subscribe. I have every single week, I have a brand new video. Wednesday mornings, it gets published. Brand new video for you uh, on my YouTube channel. And Fridays, I am here live reviewing products for you that you might not sure if you want or 
should have. <laughs> so this is what the Crafty Crochet Review Show is all about. If you have any more questions, I'm here for you, even after this life is over. Otherwise, I hope you have a wonderful day and happy hooking and happy weekend. Until next week. Bye.